So just a comfortable seat, drawing the shoulders up, down, and back a few times. And just coming to sitting up nice and tall, maybe closing the eyes or just softening the gaze, looking out towards the water, the horizon, the sunrise. And starting to tune in to your breath. Starting to lengthen your breath. So taking long, deep inhales through the nose. Long, deep exhales out through your nose. With each breath, just feel yourself really tuning in to being present. Noticing the sensation of your breath through your body. So as you're inhaling, noticing your belly fill up with air, your ribs expand and your chest rise. As you're exhaling, noticing that happen in reverse. So the chest drops, the ribs empty out, and the belly drops, and the belly comes closer together. And start to kind of really just be aware of your surroundings. So notice the feeling of the air. It's always slightly cooler on the water, cooler first thing in the morning. Enjoying that. Noticing the sounds in the background. Birds. The city waking up. The marina. stillness of the water. Just embracing all of this as part of our practice today. <coughs> Setting an intention for class or just kind of reminding yourself maybe why you're here, something you're grateful for. are closed you can slowly open up your eyes and we're just going to start to move in easy circles so it doesn't matter what direction you start in just slowly starting to wake up our body body takes a little bit longer to wake up and to be more flexible in the morning staying with that breathing pattern so inhaling halfway through your circle exhaling the other half of the way let's do one more in the same direction and then we're gonna switch and we'll do, we'll say five or so circles in the other direction. One more circle. All right, good. So from here, we're just gonna take an inhale, reach the arms out and up. Interlace the hands at the top. Palms up to the sky, maybe drop the head back, looking up towards the sky, the clouds, reaching nice and long. And we're gonna take an easy twist to your right. So just warming up the back and the spine, looking over that right shoulder for a little bit of a neck stretch. Taking a few deep breaths on each exhale, twisting through the upper body. And then inhale to come back through to the center. We'll just pause there for a moment. And then on an exhale, twist in the other direction, looking over the other shoulder, taking a few deep breaths. Good, and then inhale, you can reach the arm 
arms out and up one more time. And then we'll take the hands and just interlace them behind the back, drawing the shoulders down and back, looking forward. Option to maybe fold forward and lift the arms up a little bit more. your way all the way up and we'll transition onto our hands and knees. So just starting out with a few rounds of cat cow pose to warm up the back and the spine a little bit more. Spreading out the fingers. On your inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone up, bring the heart forward looking up to the sky. And then exhale to slowly round the back, round the shoulders, bring the chin into the chest for cat pose. Let's do this two or three more times, taking your time. Moving with the breath. And then you can just come to a neutral tabletop position. Just kind of roll the hips side to side a few times. We'll eventually make our way into a downward facing dog from here. So tucking the toes, sending the hips up and back, keeping those fingers spread out and find some movement, especially at the beginning of class to just kind of feel your body, wake it up, heel toeing the feet. We're gonna get the body moving a little bit with some low vinyasas. So you can roll forward to a plank, just pause for a moment, lifting up through the belly, drawing the shoulders apart, and we'll lower down to an up dog or cobra. Drawing the shoulders down and back as you lift up the head, neck, and chest, stretching the, low, the back, and then you can make your way back into a downward facing dog. Let's take about three to five deep breaths in down dog, and always an option instead of down dog if you want you can come back to the hands and knees and do cat cow or even a child's pose and we're gonna flow through that low vinyasa again so rolling forward to a plank pause just kind of check that you feel nice and strong and then either staying on the toes or dropping to the knees lower down chaturanga to an up dog or cobra pose We'll make our way back into downward facing dog about three to five deep breaths. Think of broadening the shoulder blades, so slight external rotation of the shoulders. Relax the head and neck, chins towards the chest. And we're gonna do one more low vinyasa, the so last one. Same thing, rolling forward to a plank, lowering down up dog or cobra. Coming back into downward facing dog. From here, we'll come onto our hands and knees. And we're gonna stretch the upper body a little bit more, so we're gonna come into puppy pose. So keeping the hips right over top of the knees, just extend the arms forward, bringing the forehead down or even the chin can come down if that feels okay for you. Feeling that nice stretch in the upper back, the arms and the shoulders. Take at least five deep breaths here. Maybe one more deep breath. And then slowly lift up the head, the chest. You can walk the hands back. We'll just sit back towards the knees, interlacing the hands behind the back, opening up the chest, drawing the shoulders down and back. Either staying right here or again, option to bring the top of the head down, 
lift the hips up and lift the arms up and over. down so we're gonna still work a little bit more on the upper body we're gonna set up for dolphin pose so you can come onto the forearms our traditional dolphin pose just hands um, in front of us fingers spread out or you can interlace the hands both are fine whatever feels better draw the shoulders apart so this is really working on strengthening the shoulders from here you can tuck the toes lift the knees up work towards straightening the legs and then walking the feet forward <coughs> Chin comes towards the chest, so you're looking between the knees. Keep drawing those shoulders apart. See if you can stay here about five deep breaths. And then when you're ready, you can drop the knees down. You can take the hands kind of behind you with the palms up just to release the shoulders, maybe bring the forehead down. Just taking a few breaths here and then we're going to do one more dolphin pose. So you can set up for your second dolphin pose. So taking your time to set up on the forearm, shoulders apart walking the feet forward this time option to come into one legged dolphin on each side maybe just to try so if you're trying it reaching that right leg up taking a few breaths there keep drawing those shoulders apart head away from the ground deep breaths and then you can set that right foot down lift the other leg up Good, and then you can set that foot down. One more breath. Go ahead and release. Child's pose with hands behind you, or you can just sit back with the hands behind you. Just allow the shoulders to release. Very good. From here, you can make your way up. We're going to come into a yogi squat. So you can start on the hands and knees, kicking one foot out to the side. Wow, that guy is really pretty right now. Add a little bit of a diagonal and then the other. From here, sending the hips down if possible. Knees come out tracking in line with the toes. Um, chest is lengthened. Deep breaths. Good birthing position. <laughs> Practicing. <laughs> this is the way they did it back in the day. <laughs> Alright, let's bring the hands down. Lift the hips up. Heel to the feet in so they're closer. We're coming to a ragdoll forward fold and we'll stay here for a little bit. So, a walk. There we are. <laughs> Allow a nice bend in the knees. If you want, you can grab the elbows and sway side to side a few times to just kind of loosen up the back. We'll maybe shake the head yes and no to make sure the neck is relaxed. Spread out the toes. Maybe sway a little bit forward and a little bit back, settling in the middle. And then we'll take a few more breaths here. And from here, we're going to come to a half lift. So you can straighten the legs, take the hands to the shins, draw the shoulders down and back, extend the head and neck forward. Exhale to fold forward a little bit deeper. 
And then on our next inhale, we're gonna come all the way up, adding the arms, extended mountain pose. Good, long straight spine. And then you can bring the hands to the heart center. And we're gonna move just like we did the low vinyasas, we're gonna do a few standing flows. So on an inhale, reach the arm up and the flow just being moving with the breath. Exhale, easy forward fold. Inhale to come to a half lift. Exhale to fold forward a little bit deeper. And then next inhale, make your way all the way up, extended belt and pose. Option if you want, reaching back for a little bit of a back bend. That's just optional if that feels good. And then the hands to the heart center. We're gonna do the same thing two more times. Same movement, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold a little bit further. And then next, inhale to come all the way up, extended mountain pose. Good. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. An option on this next inhale is to come all the way onto the tip toes to really challenge your balance as you're reaching up and hold it for a few extra breaths. Good. All right, then release. Okay, awesome, good job. So we're gonna move through a full sun salutation combining the standing flow and the low vinyasa. So stepping towards the front of the mat, inhale to reach the arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to come to a plank. Take your time to lower down to an up dog or cobra. Coming into a downward facing dog about three to five deep breaths and down dog. Look up to the hands, bring the feet up to the hands, coming to a half lift on an inhale. Exhaling to fold a little bit further. And then next inhale, coming all the way up, extended belly pose. Good. Option to come onto the tiptoes again. Holding it there for a few extra breaths. All right, release. Good. All right, so we're gonna do a few unstanding flows. So we're gonna start with chair pose. So feet are a little closer together, knees are bent, we're gonna sit back. Hands can start at the heart center with the shoulders down and back, chest lifted, and you can keep the hands here or you can reach them up. Take a few deep breaths. And we're gonna set up for chair pose twist, so you can bring the hands back to the heart center, hinge forward, still keeping the chest a little bit above the hips, and we'll twist to your right to start with. So you can take that left elbow to the outside of the right leg, looking up and over the shoulder. Twist through the upper body, making sure one knee is not popping too much in front of that other knee, either keeping the hands at the heart center or you can open up the arms. Maybe sit back a little bit lower. Good, and then on an exhale, we're gonna fold forward and take a big step back with the left foot. So our right foot's in front. We're gonna set up for warrior one. So you can spin the back heel down, front knees over the ankle. Make your way up, maybe hands come to the hips to square the hips to the front. Sinking a little bit deeper to that front knee. And then we'll add the arms, good. set up for humble warrior so taking the hands interlacing them behind the back shoulders down and back from here slowly making our way forward keeping the hands interlaced behind the back to stay in that humble warrior let the head and neck relax down let the arms lift over deep breath
you can release the hands on either side of that front foot, we're gonna go through a low vinyasa. So stepping back to a plank, lowering down up dog or cobra, coming back into a downward facing dog, about three deep breaths. here we're going to bring the left foot forward so we're just switching sides take your time to sit up spin the back heel down knees over the ankle hip square to the front warrior one lengthen through the spine at the arms Set up for humble warrior, interlacing the hands behind the back. Shoulders down and back, slowly start to come forward. Relax the head and neck, chins towards the chest. Lift the arms, lift up. either side of the front foot. This time we're stepping forward, so coming to a forward fold. Good. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold forward again, and then we'll come all the way up. Extended mountain pose. Hands to heart center. All right. So we're going to come into chair pose again, so just regular chair pose, and then we'll come into that twist on the other side. To set up for the twist, bringing the hands to the heart center, hinging forward. Right elbow to the outside of that left knee, so looking up and over the other shoulder, putting the hips back a little bit more. Option to open up the arms. Good. exhale you can fold forward and we're gonna take a big step back with the right foot so our left foot will be forward first spin the back heel down we're setting up for warrior two this time so you can make your way back up into warrior two yes hips squared to the side arms out to the side shoulders relax down take five deep breaths here to extended side angle so that left arm can reach forward, forearm can start above the knee, top arm extends up to the sky, and then reaches forward. Option to stay here, you can bring that bottom hand all the way down to the mat. Good. One more deep breath. We'll bring both hands down on either side of that front foot. We're gonna come to wide leg pyramid. So take that back foot over to the right and in just a little bit. Still at that 45 degree angle, good. We're gonna square the hips. So it's gonna be left hip back, right hip forward. Folding forward towards that front knee. Option, if you have trouble reaching the ground, to bend that front knee or to just place the hands on that front knee. Stretching out the hamstring. <laughs> One more deep breath. Good, and then let's step forward, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold again, and then next inhale to come all the way up, extended mountain pose. Good. All right, let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Big step back with the left 
foot. So we're setting up for warrior two, right foot's forward. Spin that back heel down. When you're ready, making your way up to warrior two. Checking the arms in a nice straight line. Shoulders are down, sinking a little bit deeper to the front knee and then energetically squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Extended side angle, reaching forward. Maybe the forearms start to bend the knee. Top arm extends up and then extends forward. Nice stretch along the side of the body. And stay here. If you want to go lower, that hand can come all the way down to the mat. down on either side of that front foot. Step that back foot over to the side and in just a little bit. Feet are staggered. Square the hips to that front knee and then fold forward towards that front knee. You need to bending that front knee or placing the hands up a little bit higher. Deep breaths. One more deep breath. Good, and then you can take a big step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. We'll come all the way up, option to come onto the tiptoes, challenging the balance again. Good, and then you can lower back down. All right, if you want to check it out, grab a a drink of water, coffee, and then we're going to do some standing balance just as the sun is rising. It's our reward for waking up early and coming to yoga. <laughs> the sunrise was really beautiful yeah. yesterday too. Alright, so we're going to do um, tree pose. So we're going to do a little series where we'll do tree pose. We'll take that leg in front of us and then we'll come to a star pose, maybe lean forward. All right, so your right foot can stay on the ground to start with. We'll open up the left hip. So just to set up, you can take the hands to the heart center and find something in front of you, maybe on the horizon to focus your gaze on. Standing up tall. When you're ready, sliding that foot a little bit higher, maybe to the calf or all the way to the upper thigh. Lean back to the breath. Pressing that leg back to the foot and then adding the arms. Option with the arms is you could interlace the hands, bringing the palms to the sky. Good. Okay, let's bring the hands back to the heart center. If you need to, you can tap that foot down or just taking the hands to the hips, you can bring that foot forward We'll keep that foot flexed, straighten the leg, and then lift it up as high as you can. Let's hold it for five. Go ahead. Four. Three. Two. One. If you need to, tap it down, but we're going to bring it through to the center, over to the side. Our star pose. Arms come out to the side. Soften the standing knee. Option to hinge forward to allow that leg to lift up a little higher for five. Four. Three, two, one, good. All right, roll out that ankle and then we'll just set up for the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Switching sides, opening up that hip, coming back to the breath, finding something on the horizon to focus your gaze on to really help with balance. And then just at your own pace when you're ready, bringing that foot up higher. Adding the arms, maybe interlacing the hands with the palms up for a variation. Good. 
Good, and then you can bring the hands back to the heart. Keep the hands to the hips. If you need to, tap that toe down, or maybe just try to bring that leg forward. Straighten the leg first, and then as high as you can for five. Good. Four, straight back. Three, two, one. Slowly lower that foot down. Keep the foot flexed. We'll bring it to the side, getting into the hips. Soften that standing knee. Arms come out to the side. You can stay here or maybe hinge forward to allow that leg to lift up a little higher for five, four, Three, two, one. Release. Take it out. Great. You guys are so much better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to go through a vinyasa and we're going to make our way lower to the mat for the um, second part of class. So just going through a nice, easy flow. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to make your way to a plank. Take your time to lower down through Chaturanga to an up dog or cobra. Come into a down dog about three to five breaths. Option, if you'd like to, just to stretch it out, you could come to a three-legged down dog on either side, just feeling that nice stretch. Here in the three-legged down dog, switching sides. Good. And then we'll make our way into child's pose. Taking the knees out wide, sitting back towards the heels, let the forehead relax down. And just take a few moments to really connect, reconnect with your breath. the hands back so we're gonna set up for a little bit of a side series so um, if you want you can stay facing me but one knee is gonna be on the mat the right leg's gonna be out long so it's gonna kind of be like here with one leg out long yeah and if you all right so we're gonna set up for the side plank variation first so the hands gonna come down and it, it can be off the mat depending on how your mat is and you're just going to check the hand the knee and the foot are all in line so top hand will be on the hip lifting up through the hip and then we'll just add the arm it's just a side plank variation you can extend that arm forward to really feel a nice stretch on the obliques From here, we're gonna come all the way up onto the knee, stretching over towards the leg that's out long. So stretching the other side, it's called gate pose. About three deep breaths. We're gonna come down to that side plank variation and add on. So hand, knee, foot's in line. Arms extended, then reach forward. So if you wanna add on, you're gonna lift that leg up in line with the hip either staying right here you can add a little bit of a crunch just to add a challenge maybe about five one more breath and we're going to come up into that gate pose side stretch one last time on this side seeing if this time maybe you can go a little bit further All right, good. We'll bring that hand down. This time, side plank option to stay where you're at or to come to a full side plank, either staggering or stacking the feet. So really working on the core and those oblique muscles, lifting up through the hips. Make sure the shoulders are over the wrists or even more towards you. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Make your way down and before we do the other side, we'll take a child's pose. So just reconnecting with your breath in this child, child's pose. Let the back relax, sitting back towards the heels. Make 
make your way up and we'll just set up for the same thing on the other side. So just making sure that other leg is out long. And we'll start with the side planks. So hands, knee, foot are all in a straight line, lifting up through the hip, adding the arm up and then maybe extending it forward. Good. Taking a few breaths here. And come all the way up onto that knee. Stretch towards the leg that's out long. foot's in line, top arm reaches up, extends forward, and then option to lift that leg up in line with the hip. Good. And if you did that crunch last time, or if you just want to try it this time, go ahead and try it, bringing the elbow towards the knee with control. Good. And then we'll make our way back up, gate pose one more time. And if you can go a little bit further to the side. All right, one more side plank. So option to do that full side plank, staggering or stacking the feet. Either way, lifting up through the hip, adding the arm, maybe extending it forward for five, four, Three, two, one. You can make your way down, drop that knee down, and we'll come to a seat this time. We're gonna set up for a seated butterfly pose. Yeah, if you want, as we transition, taking a drink of water. <laughs> Bring the feet together. Starting out, just lengthening through the spine. So just sitting up tall, maybe adding, starting with some movement to start with. Flapping the wings. <laughs> and then starting to hinge forward from the hips. So chest is lifted, shoulders back. Take a few breaths, making your way forward, even just a tiny little bit this way before we start to round. And whenever you're ready, you can kind of round the upper, around the back, round the shoulders, bring the forehead down, allow the upper body to relax a little bit more in the pose. We'll stay here a little bit longer. Our bodies are nice and warmed up from class, so allowing for a deeper stretch here. Feeling the stretch in the hips the inner legs, a little bit the back. deep breaths. and then we'll twist to your left. Looking over that shoulder. Come back for 
to the center. Let's um, windshield wiper the knees side to side so you can bring the feet forward, keeping them wide. And then we'll set up for the, um, that mermaid sit in the other direction so you can start in that butterfly and then take the left knee to the right foot to set up. And then we'll just twist in the other direction. center and we're going to set up for a reverse tabletop so feet about hips distance apart hands behind you bring the heels forward so our first level is just to bring the chest forward hips up second level is to lift the hips up maybe let the head drop back taking a few breaths here extend the legs out nice and long. We'll set up for a forward fold. So we'll just start with staff pose. So drawing the shoulders down and back, sitting up tall, flexing the feet, and then bringing the hands by the side. You can either look forward or you can bring the chin down to the chest. Feeling that stretch in the back of the neck and the upper shoulders, taking a few breaths here. And then on your next inhale, reach the arms up and we're gonna make our way forward. So hinging from the hips, reach, reach, reach. And then bring those hands down, feeling a nice stretch in the hamstrings. deep breaths here. And then you can lift the head and the chest, come all the way up. So option here is a reverse tabletop with bent knees, or if you want, you can try it with straight legs. So reverse the leg. hands behind you. We're going to lift the hips up. Maybe we're just pressing the can come back, take a few deep breaths here. Good, and then you can lower back down. All right, so grab one more drink of water and then we'll make our way onto our back. You can find your block, have your block nearby in case you wanna use it. raises. Option, and this is just optional, we'll take that block between the knees. So what that'll do is just help engage the inner thighs a little bit more. Um, but just setting up for the bridge, so heels are going to be in towards you. And you're going to, um, we'll do the first one slow. So lift the hips up, and as you lift the hips up, let the arms reach up and over behind you. And as you lower the hips down to hover, arms come straight up to the sky. So we're just gonna go nice and slow, finding this movement, maybe about eight to 10 of these um, movements in bridge pose, lifting the hips up nice and high, extending the arms overhead, lowering the hips down to hover, arms come to the sky.
let's do two more. And we're gonna hold that last one. So just holding the bridge. If you want, you can bring the hands down by the side, just holding the hips up nice and high. Let's take five deep breaths here. Take your time to lower down, upper back, middle back, lower back. You can release the block. Let's move it over to the side. We'll windshield wiper our knees side to side. Releasing the back and the hips. We're gonna come back into a bridge, this time option to add on a one-legged bridge. So hands can be by the side, heels are up towards you, feet about hips distance apart, no block this time. Lift the hips up nice and high. You wanna add on that one-legged bridge, take that right foot out and just take it out about 45 degrees to start with. Option to keep it at 45 degrees or to lift it up to the sky, maybe pointing the toe. Let's take a few deep breaths here. And place that foot down. Option to lengthen through the other leg. 45 degrees or lifting it all the way up for a few deep breaths. Placing that foot down, slowly lowering down. Maybe hugging the knees towards the chest, rocking side to side a few times. And we're gonna set up for a figure four stretch to really stretch out the hips. So you can take that right ankle above the left knee. And if you wanna go deeper, lifting that left foot up, interlacing the hands behind the thigh or on top of the knee. And this stretch is focusing on the hips, but if there's any other hip stretch that you prefer, you can always do that. And you can always do this pose in a seated position as well. is to straighten the left leg, stretching out the hamstring, staying in that figure four. Take your time to make your way out of the pose. Maybe windshield wiping the knees, maybe stretching the arms and the legs out long. Just kind of taking any kind of stretch or reset kind of before we do the other side. And then we'll set up for that figure four stretch on the other side. Or that hip stretch on the other side. to straighten the right leg, staying in that figure four.
taking your time to make your way out of the pose, maybe hugging the knees to the chest again. And then we'll set up for happy baby pose. Reaching for the outsides of the feet, bringing the feet up towards the sky. Knees are gonna come out wide, pressing down towards the mat. Maybe rocking side to side a few times to start with. So in this happy baby, feeling that nice stretch in the hips, the inner legs, the hamstrings. Maybe pressing the low back into the mat to see how that feels, or even lifting the tailbone up and seeing how that feels, which feels better for the body. If you want, maybe stretching it out a little bit further, like straightening one leg, bending the other knee in. <laughs> Let's bring the feet together to come to a line down butterfly stretch. So just taking a few breaths here, maybe placing one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest. Just noticing the rise and fall of the belly and the chest as you're breathing. into a comfortable position and it can even be right here where you're at for Shavasana. So any position that's comfortable for you to either relax on the mat, even a seated meditation, but just allowing yourself a few moments to let the body release, allowing yourself some time to just reset with nothing in particular you have to do or think about.
start to bring your awareness back to the present, starting with the breath, taking a nice deep inhale, complete exhale, and then bringing some small movements back to your body, wiggling the fingers, the toes, rolling out the ankles, rolling out the wrists. bigger movements, maybe stretching the arms overhead, bending the knees. If you want, you can roll onto your side, just taking your time to come up to a seat. And we'll just kind of pause for another moment, reflecting on class and our experience, feeling a sense of gratitude, thanking yourself for taking the time to come here and do something good for your body, your mind, and your heart. We can finish by bringing our hands to our heart center, taking one more deep inhale, reaching the arms up, pressing the palms together, bringing the hands back to the heart, and just allow the positive energy you feel from your practice to be a benefit to yourself and the people around you throughout the day and throughout the rest of the week. Namaste.